come here. Bring the wine. I can't. I'm caught in the rope. Come on, Slowpoke. The wine. Woohoo! These waves are amazing. Wait up. I can't move. I can't. My legs are stuck in the ropes. My legs! My legs. I'm coming! Ah. Thanks, kid. It's Laura, Senor Cota. All right, whatever. Another letter from Ursula. We used to take the boat around Mar Balear. I'll leave it with the rest. First election since... hell, I don't even know. Oh look, Incense went to his country house over summer. So far, nobody has figured out what this is. Why do you keep sending me letters? Mother. Don't know when last we spoke. Nineteen seventy-four. Joined the Special Investigations Unit with Diego. What a rough bunch. Maybe a bit too rough sometimes. Diego and I, just after joining the Policia Armada, those were the days. I miss talking to him. Where did I misplace that power cord? A storm is coming in a few days. Uh, needs watering. Should get Juanito to buy me some cava. Ursula liked taking photos of the neighborhood. Gate to the Atlantic. For the pain. Now they also bring sleep and bad dreams. Pills for the pain. Cigarettes for the boredom. It's dusty. A transatlantic ocean liner. Truly awe-inspiring. Aren't you a resilient one? For visitors, Ah, yes. Got that one in Gibraltar. Ursula's books. 
She never came back for them. Got it for my service. <laughs> the wheelchair came as an unexpected bonus. What to do? Used to draw for investigations. Cases. Never thought I'd have to do it to kill time. Right. Who are we gonna draw next? Can't recall ever having anything fixed by girls. Times really are changing. Why are those things so noisy? But they fiddled with the exhaust. You've been working on that scooter for ages. Are you missing parts? Or experience? Nice suit. Don't often see the high society style in these neighborhoods. You definitely stand out around here. Guess that's the point. Madame Carmen, queen of the outcasts. The types who hang around those dens. The kids have given up their future. <laughs> Doesn't look like she pays you much attention, buddy. Get real. Why would she settle for a waiter? Lola. Singer at the cabaret. Bunch of weirdos. Although with a voice like yours, I wonder why you stay in a dump like that. Oh, come on. Still haven't pieced your life together, eh? Wonder why the Polythea leave you be. It's a mess down there. Get a job! What are you up to? Wait, you gave him money? He's just gonna waste it on alcohol. That's always what happens. Why are you crying? Didn't go too well with that gentleman, huh? What did the two of you talk about? What's going on here? Somebody's coming on strong. What are you two arguing about? You're wasting your time, Padre. Some people don't want to be helped. Doña Ana, the neighborhood grandma, always spying on people. Give them some privacy. Is she looking at me? I'd look around some more. Hmm, they seem to be taking a longer vacation than usual.
Getting a bit wet. Long time since I talked to you, Padre. Confession's become a waste. What would I even say? Not like I have a lot of things going on here. Eusebio's House of God. Are they keeping the heat out or prying eyes? Must get hot under that glass roof. A hidden garden for the birds of the night. Should get back inside. Not much going on anyway. Who would want to sit inside a glass house on a roof? Must get incredibly hot in there. They've been advertising the same performer for some time now. Maybe I should try planting tomatoes. Should put them on the wall. Some got wet. Got some interesting ones today. Why is doing nothing feels so exhausting? Damn painkillers. Jorge, the waves. Do something. Don't worry. I've got everything under control. I think we should have turned back sooner. I said don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Jorge, for the love of God, do something! I'm doing all I can. I've got it under control. Oh, we're sinking. The water, it's rising over your wheels. Your wheelchair is sinking! What? What are you talking about? Hey! What in the... <clears throat> What's that sound? No, no, not again. Uh, how am I ever gonna fix that leak? I better find something to catch the water. I don't think this will be enough. Got some larger buckets on the balcony. What 
are you doing standing around in the middle of a thunderstorm? This will do. A shot! He's down! I have to call for help. Must have heard it too. She heard it, too. I've got to do something about that guy down there. Emergency number. Hang on, no. I'll call the department. Quicker that way. Calso, Policia Armada. What is it? Hola, this is Jorge. Is Diego in? Ah, Jorge. Good to hear from you. Uh, Diego's out. What's up? Somebody's been shot right in front of my house. Tell me your address. Guerrero Landa, number 10. Uh, 10. All right, we'll send a car over right away. Stay where you are. Okay, bye. What now? Let me in, please. What do you want? Who are you? He... He's been shot. Who are you? What are you doing here? Shh, please. I saw someone get shot, and I have no idea how you fit into all this. I know, just... Let me stay for a moment. At least until they're gone. Who? Who are you talking about? Shh. I can't hear anything. Whoever was following you has probably left. Tell me, who are you? I... he... oh no... I... I'm... Hey! Are you okay? Shit, shit, shit! I don't know where to go from here. This wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, fine. Just focus. Breathe. We can look into it tomorrow. It's too dangerous to go outside right now anyway. Just try to rest for a bit. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna rest for a bit.
should get the Polythea to talk to her. Uh, I'll have to sort it out tomorrow. What a mess. Hey, are you awake? That can't be good for your back. Uh, I manage. Thanks for letting me stay here. Didn't have much of a choice. Well, no one else answered their door. Quite chaotic yesterday, huh? What the hell happened? I was about to meet this guy. The guy who got shot? What for? I... don't know his name. He reached out, said he had something for me. But you know how that ended. So you were down there to meet him? Who shot him? You don't seem the type. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I didn't see the shooter. But I got a good view of the victim. Shady type, hat and coat. Nervous. Didn't even seem to notice the pouring rain. So? I have to take a look outside. You have a balcony, right? Yeah, the doors are open. Wow, what a puddle. Are you okay here? None of your business. So, why would he contact you, out of all people? I work for El Diario, part-time. A journo. And for the one lefty rag at that. It's thanks to journalism from rags like mine that things are finally changing. The election is only a few days from now. Whatever he had, it must have been important. He's still there. The body. It's still there. What are they doing? Can you grab my camera? I need to see this in more detail. <laughs> Send the man in the wheelchair to grab it. Unbelievable. Let's take a look. They left the body fresh in the open. Seems... almost unprofessional. Definitely not protocol. How would you know? Wait, are you a cop? Never seen a cop in a wheelchair. I'm retired. Well, good for you. Better be in a wheelchair than a policia armada thug. You know, if they heard that, you'd be in a cell, the gutter, or worse. And there you have it. My point proven. Take a picture. Camera's loaded. Why are they leaving him out in the open? That's it. I'm going down there. You hold on to the camera for now. What do you mean, for now? I can't be seen with it. Too suspicious. Don't sweat it. I'll grab my stuff later. Take too long and I'll have you pay rent! You there? What the? Did she take one of my transmitters? Hey, pick up your transmitter. It's in that box. In your room. 
you took one of my transmitters. <laughs> oh, please. It was just gathering dust anyway. Hey, I'm down here now. Can you see me? You can't just go snooping around a crime scene. I can be sneaky. Relax. They're not letting me get close. Of course they're not. But they will probably collect witness statements soon. Sounds like someone's decided to help. I'll keep an eye out and let you know when it's safe. But if they catch you, I don't know you. Coast is clear. Now, go. Withholding information, tampering with evidence. Do you not care at all about what? Shut up. Are you trying to draw attention to me? It's him. I found the flower. Go on. He was gonna wear a red carnation for me to... Never mind. All right, I've seen enough. Listen, kid. I've thought about this. Yeah? Any words of wisdom? These people you're dealing with. Red flowers. El Diario. The terrorists are never more than a few steps away. Terrorists, huh? Guess that's what an ex-cop would say. What I'm getting at is that the Polythea won't protect you in this. Everything that's even close to the left is terrorism to them. You'll end up charged by association. Walk away while you can. Inspiring. But between the two of us, I haven't given up yet. Drop the attitude, kid. You're in over your head. So help me. Something is seriously wrong here. You said it yourself. This isn't following protocol. I don't know. Come on. As an ex-policia, aren't you the least bit concerned? Fine. Listen. First, we've got to look for witnesses find a lead. Now we're getting somewhere. So, who is that guy in front of the church? That's Padre Eusebio. Harmless. Harmless? They enforce their family traditions, turning women into obedient caretakers. It's all just another grab for power. He's not someone I can trust. Those things are changing, even within the church. You just have to be patient. Change doesn't come from patience. There are no officers down that end of the street. Go. He doesn't know anything about the shooting. Claims he was asleep at the time. Makes sense. 
He also said they should have taken the body away by now. Yeah. Look at that mess. I wonder... Will Eusebio know where he's gone? Hey. I saw Eusebio talking to that bum who lives near the archway yesterday. Seems to keep an eye on him. Okay. Try asking him if he knows what that bum was doing yesterday evening. Odd thing. He seemed to recall seeing Aldo lie down out there yesterday evening. Who's Aldo? The homeless guy. Try to keep up. Anyway, when I pressed him for it, he clammed up and didn't want to talk anymore. Almost seemed to regret mentioning Aldo in the first place. Odd indeed. I'll keep an eye out for the bum. Maybe he knows something. I'll go into the cafe and see whether I can find out something there. Yeah. Maybe you can overhear some conversations. Just tell me if you spot something. There she is. Nothing to do all day, huh? Who are you talking about? Lola, the singer from the cabaret. Works most nights. Maybe she saw something. I'll go talk to her. Still putting the moves on Lola. Maybe there is hope for both of you. Fall in love, quarrel bitterly, die old. <laughs> there are worse ways to live. Now is a good time to ask Lola about the previous night. On my way. She says she was at home, but didn't see anything. <sighs> you can't trust anyone down there. Is there anyone in this world you actually like? Why would I like artists who push their own political agenda? They all do. Everything is political. Look around you. Life is. Well, it didn't used to be. Because all art that wasn't pro-government used to be repressed. Thanks for reminding me. Did she just pick something up? I should take a photo for later. What are you up to? Oh, that was a drop if I ever saw one. Listen, I think there's something fishy with that newspaper at the cafe table. Are you serious? I'm hunting a shooter and you asked me to get the papers? I think the singer just took something from it. Fine, I'll take a look. The paper is from last week, man. Ha! <laughs> Told you so. We use old Sunday papers to get updates from our informants. I mean, we used to. Huh. What do you think was in it? Probably a message of some kind. Interesting. We should keep an eye on her in the future. I feel like we're done with the cafe for now. Yeah. Nobody left to talk to. We should take a look at the cabaret. Ah. 
I've got an idea. See the big man at the cabaret entrance? What about him? He looks... cautious. El Blanco is their bouncer. He won't let you through. But Carmen sometimes comes down to check on him. You could listen in if you're quick. Carmen is over on her roof terrace having a smoke. Who's she? Runs the cabaret. Bunch of leftists, shady folks, weirdos. Basically anyone the nationalists would consider unwanted. I see. Probably means she hasn't seen anything either. Agreed. She wouldn't tell you. She makes sure to stay out of things like this, to keep her people safe. Okay. Carmen just went down to talk to El Blanco. Try to get behind the van. They're talking about giving up Lola. What could that mean? Without other proof, it might as well mean they're hiring a new singer. Sure, but it seems more serious than that. Hmm. Anything else? Oh, they've lowered their voices. Don't risk getting closer. There she comes. Looks like an argument. Are you getting any of this? I think it's about money. So much for communism. When it's about paychecks, everyone's the same. I don't know what, but you're definitely projecting something. Anyway, I think it's more about the cabaret's finances. Our pretty singer just ducked to hide from the Polythea. I'm starting to get really interested in her. I'm going up to talk to her. Not with that brute guarding the door. She's probably getting ready for work anyway. Nothing happening at the cabaret. Oh, this investigation isn't going anywhere. You've only just started. These things take time. I don't have time. I need to find out what the mole was going to tell me before all these disappear. The mole? Yeah, it was the code name the victim used when he contacted me. Just for the record, don't worry. You are not a suspect. Yet. There's an elderly lady in the building, on the other side of the street. What about her? Is she an anarchist as well? She's always up there. If anyone saw something, it'll be her. Which apartment's hers? Just look for the buzzer with the name Anna. Tell her Jorge sent you. She'll love that.
Hey man, I'm at your lady friend's place. She's not my lady friend. She says she wants to talk to you. And I kid you not, she has her own transmitter. I gave her our frequency. She'll connect in a moment. Um, wait. Uh, are you serious? Jorge. Jorge, is that you? Uh, <clears throat> hola, Senora Ana. It's been too long. So, uh, I have a few questions. Jorge, how have you been? Are you holding up all right over there? You never go to bed on time. Not since the accident. I talked to Eusebio. He says you stopped coming down for confession. Yeah, listen. I know it's been a while, but I was hoping that maybe we... You know we had an electric elevator installed here? You should talk to that landlord of yours to get one too. Would do you good. Not loaf around up there all day. Senora Ana, please. I need to ask you if you... Your friend told me already about the shooting. What a mess, eh? The policia only guards what's important to the regime, as always. Anyway, I didn't see nothing. I see. Thank you for your help, Senora. But I bet Aldo did. He was down there last night. Ran like the wind. You mean you saw the bomb? Are you sure? I'm old, but neither blind nor stupid. Go ask him. I know what I saw. Thank you, Senora. If there's... Hey, man, we have a real lead. I'm gonna go down. Just a moment. <sighs> Let me finish a sentence for once. So, the homeless man, where is he? He hasn't returned yet. I'll let you know if I spot him. Those mechanics. Wouldn't hurt to take some photos. Ever busy, that one. There's another place you can try. These two girls, they recently moved into the garage in the square. Grown women aren't girls, Jorge. Do you mean the mechanics? Uh, yes. I, I don't know them. It's a long shot, but I think their lights were on last night. I'm heading over now. Did you talk to both of them? Luisa and Marietta. They're Italian. Moved here recently. Seems like a couple of parts for one of the scooters have gone missing. Do you think it's related? I doubt it. The sisters think it's just some kids playing around. Okay. So nothing for us there. No. Said they were shocked when they opened up this morning. Not every day there's a corpse lying on your doorstep. Uh, I think we should keep a lookout for those missing parts. What a waste of time. Maybe. But if they know something, getting on their good side could prove useful. There's something in the church garden. You're not sending me around randomly, are you? There's a handlebar here. Good spot. I think there's a part behind the car by the cabaret. Uh-huh.
There's a Fusatsi lying here. Hey, I'm gonna return those scooter parts to the mechanics. Tell me when the coast is clear. Are you afraid of getting arrested for carrying scrap parts? I'm afraid of making a permanent impression with the policia and leading them straight up to your place. Point taken. I'll check. Nobody's watching right now. You can bring them the parts. Okay, about time. This stuff is heavy. Remind me again, why am I doing this? <laughs> You're trying to save the world one part at a time? <laughs> Very funny. Enough distractions for now. We should have another look at the neighborhood. Okay. I'll look around a bit again. Look who's decided to come back. Your friend, Arno, is here. You mean Aldo? Right. Well, where is he? His usual place by the archway. Well... That didn't really go down the way I expected it to. Why? What did he say? Nothing. For now, at least. Did it seem like he was scared or something? Yeah. Said the policia have been giving him a hard time lately. He wants to meet me in the church garden. After sundown. Guess you have to play along. I took notes of your findings. Let's go through them. Be there in a moment. Okay, so what now, Mr. Eye in the Sky? See that chart? It opens. I'll pin my drawings to it. You put up the photographs. Okay, I've marked the main parts of the story. The story? I told you I'm working on this piece. We need to recreate the order of events. I've saved some space in the middle. Just put the clues in order there. I was supposed to meet a guy, called himself the Mole. And why were you meeting him? He contacted me, said he had something that would help my career as a journalist. Someone got shot, right outside my apartment. Yeah, the question is, why? He was wearing a red carnation like we agreed. Right.
Doña Ana saw Aldo from her window. She said he fled the scene. I wonder what he knows. Aldo stayed at the bench last night. He must have been close by when the murder happened. Now that we've established the timeline of the crime, we can start looking for suspects. Good start. I'll put that away. Can't have it out in the open in case someone comes by. Name's Melinda, by the way. Jorge. Yeah, you told me when I visited Anna, remember? Let's hang around till sundown. Aldo better have some good info. So, what did you do? At the Policia, I mean. I, uh, I worked as an investigator of sorts. Is that where you learned to draw? Yeah. Have you ever thought about taking up painting? You know, like, art and stuff. Uh, I haven't, um... <laughs> You'd probably be good at it. You should go down and meet up with Aldo. It's getting late. Sure, yeah. He should be at the church by now. There he is. He's waiting in the church garden, as promised. Good. I'm on my way. Did you see what just happened? The moment we started talking, Eusebio noticed us and made his way over. He interrupted Aldo and pretty much dragged him away. Did Aldo get the chance to say anything at all? He talked about seeing some tall fellow by the cabaret, nicely dressed. Then Eusebio interrupted him. Nothing else? Not really. Said he heard the shot right as it came through the archway. He took off the moment he saw the body. Maybe there's some other way to get that information from Aldo. Hey, maybe Aldo tells you Sabio more. Chess? Why don't you sneak over? See if you can hear them talking. Under the pillars? Yeah, they won't notice you. They're talking about politics, the future of the country. No word of the shooting. Uh, we're gonna have to look for other clues for now. They finally took care of the body. I 
could give her a call. Doniana, are you there? Jorge, I was hoping you'd call. Did you find the killer? We found the lead, but nothing conclusive yet. I see. Who did your friend talk to? She's not my friend. I'm just helping her investigate a story. <laughs> Sounds friendly to me. We contacted the mechanics. No luck, said they were fast asleep. I think I saw the lights on in there. But the angle from my apartment makes it hard to make out. Interesting. Melinda went and talked to Lola. She's a... Singer at the cabaret. Yes, I know her. Cute one. And popular. Is that so? Even the waiter at the cafe is trying to woo her. Seeing them takes me back to my younger years. Hmm. <laughs> Noted. Eusebio said he didn't see a thing. And he interfered with Melinda when she tried to question Aldo. Padre is just being a good shepherd, protecting his flock. Hmm. And what would Aldo need protection from? Who knows? But they are close. I'm sure Padre has his reasons. Thanks for your help. We'll talk more some other time. Let me know when I can come over with some home-cooked fideua. Shrimp fresh from the harbor. It's been too long since we sat down for a chat. Yeah, thanks. I'll be in touch. Is that a, a printing press? I think those mechanics are up to something. This is getting weird. They're concerned about getting in trouble, about people noticing them. So they are up to something? They didn't sound like criminals. More like they're trying to hide something. Them and everyone else around here. They talked about a beggar being there last night. I knew it. They are witnesses. And they lied to you. Guess so. Wonder why they would lie. This isn't getting me anywhere. People have too much baggage. I'll see if I can spot something. Lay low. Don't draw attention. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey, this might be a good time to look for some more scooter parts. Ugh, oh, this again? I'm telling you, this is gonna lead nowhere. You never know where a lead might turn up. Let's at least look around for a few minutes. Fine. I think there's a scooter part right by the tree. Outside the repair shop. All right. What were they thinking? Archway. Scooter frame. How'd they do that? Don't underestimate bored children, I guess. This thing is heavy. There's something next to the phone booth. Okay. Got him. That seems to be all of them. Finally, I'll pop over to the mechanics with their junk. Tell me when one of them exits the repair shop. 
See if you can catch a glimpse inside while you're there. No need to tell me. Doing better than I'd expect. Done. She seemed happy. And guarded. Couldn't spot anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Let's be on the lookout for other ways to investigate them. Right. A stranger who fits the description Aldo gave us just arrived at the cabaret. What, really? Could it really be the same guy? Hold on, I'll call in a moment. It's our guy. What's he doing? So far only talking, but not in a casual way. I gotta get out there. It's dangerous, but fine. I'll check if the door is clear. The bouncer is keeping watch downstairs. Maybe you can slip in when he's not looking. Get ready by the entrance. Where exactly? By the van, to the right of the entrance. By the car, to the left of the entrance. Wait for my mark. He's not looking. Go! Made it inside. I broke into Lola's apartment. You didn't? Are you out of your mind? She's downstairs performing. It's now or never. You're wasting time. What about the rooftop? Just a quick peek. She works here. She might be involved. Where is she keeping her stuff? There are some papers on the desk by the wall. Good thing I still have my pocket camera. old newspaper with a handwritten message inside what's it say some meeting time and place somebody has been contacting her through old newspapers knew it Jorge, i hear steps outside there's a dresser at the back wall quick down the volume a bit. They argue about leaving together. He wants to go. Lola doesn't. She says she's left home behind enough times in the past.
They left. You can get out. While you're there, how about you check the dresser, too? Good call. I found her passport. Something strange. The print is smeared. Is it fake? There's also a curious photo. A teenage boy in the middle of some people. In the mountains. The insurgent type? No, more like hikers. The resemblance. Could that boy be Lola? <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Ugh. Why is your first reaction always to judge? If this really is her, people can't find out about this. You don't know the shit people like her go through. I didn't mean... It's none of our business anyway. Seems clear. You can get up on the roof now. Watch out for El Blanco on the way. I've got this. I'm up on the roof, behind the access door. They went into the glass studio. Can you see a spot next to the glass from your side? Plant by the ledge. Looks large enough to give you cover. All right. Can you see what they're doing? They're inside. Should be safe. Head for the bush. Okay. I'll turn off the speaker for now. Be careful. They're really close. Mel. Shit. intent on finding it. Now Gadaman is telling him about Lola. Seems he likes what he hears. It's like some weird agreement. The stranger is Policia. He said they have a suspect. They're definitely discussing the night. <gasps> oh, I think he left. Oh, I've turned on the speaker again. Welcome back. I think it's safe to leave. I'm gonna stick around a little longer to make sure the heat is gone. Did you ever see that man when you were with the policia? Never. Could be a higher up. Could be new. Do you know anything about an important list or something like that? The policia keeps track of all sorts of things. Could be anything. Judging by his clothes and this conversation, he's both rich and influential. I'm worried about Lola. There's nothing we can do about it. Why is she running after him? Wow, you really can be a bit dense sometimes, huh? He's trying to keep her from doing what she loves. They care about each other. Besides, what do you know about her life? You can't see everything through a pair of lenses. Hmm, seems like they're making up. 
Emotions can be stormy, man. I hope they figure it out. Judging by that photo, her past is probably filled with chaos. Can't fault her for wanting to settle down. Yeah, thinking about it. You're probably right. I shouldn't have. You know. There you go. I'm heading back. Waited long enough. All right. Let's discuss everything when you get here. Come on, Mel. Hurry up. Toki. Hola, Jorge. How have you been? Oh, hey. Hola, Diego. Didn't expect a visitor this late. Been a long time, huh? It has. It has. How are you doing, old friend? I'm doing all right. You know how it is. Heard you got promoted. <laughs> Word gets around, huh? Well, word is they got sick of your crying after I was taken off duty. <laughs> Actually, once I didn't have to drag you around everywhere, the commander finally saw my potential. <laughs> what a load of crap. I know I should have dropped by more. There's just been a lot going on at the station. Don't mention it. I get it. New responsibilities, living up to expectations. Yeah, yeah. And with the election coming up, and now the shooting... I heard you called it in. Saw it myself. Was right there on the balcony. Took you long enough to get the body moved. What's up with that? I know, I know. But like I said, a lot going on lately. Everyone works as fast as they can, you know that. Yeah. To be honest, I was hoping you'd seen something. Anything. You know how when we work together, every detail counted. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. Uh, no one connected to the election, thank God. Everyone's on edge. The slightest spark could send this entire thing up in smoke. Didn't look like a robbery to me. I know. The whole situation's wrong. Help me out, will you? Please. There's a bum hanging out in the area. Harmless fellow. Doesn't seem the type to commit a serious felony. But he might have seen something. Makes sense. This is really helpful. Anyone else? There's an elderly lady. Lives across the street all by herself. She's usually up there watching the plaza. Uh, sounds like the perfect candidate for a witness. Yeah. Doña Ana's the name. It's on the doorbell. Great. I'll look into it. Anything else? You might want to talk to Padre Eusebio at the church. Was he there? In the middle of the night? Hey. You ask him. I can't do all your work for you. Alright. I'll see what he knows. Anyone else? There was somebody. A girl... A woman. At the scene. At the scene of the crime? What was she doing? Don't know. When I looked again, she was gone. Hmm. I'll send some people out to look for her. Anything else? No one. Woke up the next morning and there the body was. All right. So who was the victim? Really? As sharp as ever. <laughs> now, we don't know for sure, but it looks like he was tied to some underground network. What, like activists? 
What do they care now, with everything changing? Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. Did you notice any new faces around here? Uh, let me think. There's this fancy-looking tall guy. Has been coming to the cabaret a lot recently. Doesn't fit the local clientele? Exactly. Wears a suit, polished shoes, the whole shebang. Don't know what he's up to, but he seems to have been in meetings with the owner. Interesting. Anyone else? No, not really. I see. Oh, hey, I just wanted to say, uh... I know you've had it rough. And the pain, and... I can only imagine the boredom. It wasn't your fault. You know that, right? I should have been there. When it happened. It's all in the past. Forget it. Right. Well, uh... Well, back to the problem at hand, huh? Has there been anything out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Now that you mention it... I did see something strange. There's an old printing press in the building. Down by the plaza. Seems like it's been printing again. How's that strange? The place is a repair shop now. Oh. Alright. A singer from the cabaret got into an argument on the street with the waiter from the cafe, no less. It would seem like the usual love drama. No weapons involved. <laughs> right. Hey, uh... Heard anything from Ursula? She wrote the other day. Haven't opened the letter yet. Ah. I won't pry then. There's nothing more. If there was, I would have told you. Of course. I know that you're on our side. And, uh... What side is that? Tradition. Of course. Another visitor? You're quite popular, pal. Hola, Señor Jorge. Oh, hey, kid. Good to see you. Mama said to bring you some leftovers. We just had dinner. That's terribly nice of her. Tell your mom I said thanks. Yes, Señor Jota. We'll do so, Señor. I think it's time for me to go. It's getting late. Yeah. Drop by again sometime. Don't leave me with the dust rats for too long, you hear? <laughs> Will do, Jorge. Will do. That was... Uh, hmm. Hope Mel is all right. It's probably best to not have the two of them meet. At least for now. Hey, Mel. You there? Hmm. Should finish up for tonight. Would be best to write down what we uncovered. Don't really feel like eating. Okay. Here we go. Fell asleep again. 
So much for drawing notes by hand. I wonder where Mel went. I'll have to take notes for now. I hope Mel comes back with more film soon. The moment you get used to something working. What is keeping her? Let's see. Maybe she's down there interviewing folks. There's a piece of cloth on the wire fence. Did she rip her clothes? Stacked chairs, close to the wall. She must have used them to climb the repair shop's roof. That notebook looks like Mel's. Was she spying on the mechanics? Ah, you're a piece of work. Hope you're all right. The Polythea. Wow. Hey, they beat him down. I didn't think this was how things were done anymore. Oh no. Why would they take her away? This has to be connected to that meeting between Carmen and the stranger yesterday. Damn it. Carmen must have told the Polythea about Lola's background. Wonder if Mel was right. Was there anything we could have done? What did you tell that stranger about Lola? Sounds like it's coming from the transmitter. Mel, come in. What is she up to? Mel, are you all right? Hey, Jorge, it's Anna. Hola, senora. Jorge, the policia are about. Yeah, I noticed. I worry that they will come here and search my home. They might leave a mess, but uh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. You don't understand. I've been collecting old books. Poems. Yes? Of the variety that the Nationalist Party doesn't really appreciate. Really? You? This old heart has always pumped red blood. He 
people in my day got dragged through the streets just for owning them. They couldn't take you in for possession of it. You both know the Policia are resisting change most of all. Owning these books is not something I would admit, unless I had no choice. All right, listen. There's a small garden by the church. I bet you can put them in the bushes, pick them up when the Polythea have left. That sounds like quite a way. And I can't walk very fast. They'll spot me. I'll check when the officers are busy and give you a call. Wait for my signal. I'll ferry you over safely. Goodness. Suppose I have no other choice. Now would be a good time to point out a route for Dona Anna. First, hide behind the tree. Next place to go would be... Hide behind the pillar. Let's see. Hide behind the cafe wall. next to the church stairs. From there, I can send her to the church garden. There you go. Just hide them in the shrubs. Thank you, my boy. I knew I could trust you. You might want to tell Eusebio. Just don't mention what you actually hid there. Good idea. I'll go right away. This much guts left in those old bones. Finally, tell him to stop his littering. Shit, they punched him. Why are they so brutal? This isn't right.
They are going to Doña Ana. Seems to have gone well. I thought I'd root for the people on the run, but the way the Polythea are acting. What did they find? Damn, where's Mel? Must be something interesting going on in there. Some kind of advertisement? It's everywhere. I could ask the kids to bring me one of those pamphlets. Yes, I can make out the phone booth's number from here. Now, to call the kids. Let's see. This is Jorge, from the apartment upstairs. You know, the man in the wheelchair. Ah, si! Sí. Hola, Señor Jota. Did you see the policia? They went through all the houses. Also, there were a lot of peepers in the streets. What's going on? <laughs> Slow down, Laura. Yes, I saw what happened. Can you grab me a copy of the Daily News? Okay, Señor Jota. And bring me one of those leaflets, will you? Will do, senor. Thanks, kid. Thanks, Laura. Don't trust the false promises. Have to stay united. Vote order and tradition. A bunch of names and years? Why would anyone bother spreading this around? Need to make some sense of all this. Carmen was talking to someone who fits the description given by Aldo. It's still very vague, but 
Could this be the same man he saw on the night of the murder? The stranger said he was looking for a list. Did he need Carmen's help in finding it? They were looking for the source of the pamphlets. But why are they so important that the Polythea would raid an entire plaza? Found the printing press. Mel has disappeared. And the Polythea. The raids today looked awfully much like. Oh. These damn painkillers. Always making me drowsy. Too tired. Need to sleep. Who's the body? Some pencil pusher. He reached out, said he had something for me. Stir up conflict and panic. It's their only cause. The tall guy. He's talking about a list. The mole had the list. That's the motive. That's why the Polythea are turning the plaza upside down. To find the list. The murderer probably took it off him, though. There's some piece here that I'm missing. This pamphlet is ordered like a list. What's going on? Names and dates. It starts with 1974. Why does that ear ring a bell? Nineteen seventy-two. Diego and I joined the Narcotics and Liquor Task Force. <laughs> we all drank more than the kids we arrested. Honestly, I... I'm not even sure some of them had any drugs to begin with. What happened in 1974? Nineteen seventy-four. That's when we joined that raid unit. The flower collectors. Mission statement was simple. Find leftists, revolutionaries, queer folk, and other unwanted people before they disturbed the peace. Before they became a threat to our nation's unity. Find the flowers. I wonder... The flower collectors... Okay... Let's see how these fit in... This one. Diego. Back 
then, we hadn't gone on any of the raids yet. If we had known about all the messed up things we'd have to do, would we still have joined? 1972. More recruits joined the ranks. The new ones were always the rowdiest. Eager to fight. Had to tear them off a poor bastard once. Don't even know what he'd done to deserve it. 1974. We got moved to the flower collectors. The raids. The screams. The... Broken bones. Why did all these people have to be dragged away? Beaten down? Just like today? Who benefits from all this? 1975. Another party. Hell, the raids became parties. And no one asks any questions as long as their throat gets drenched. How is this upholding any morals? How is this protecting the people? I forgot I still had that old thing. Storm's about to hit tonight. Hey Mel, you there? Still nothing. So many people were attacked in those raids. The Mole could have gotten the names off young recruits. Would those recruits really have opened up to an outsider, though? The list's first entry is in 1974, the same year we joined the Flower Collectors. Could the list have anything to do with those assignments? It seems like the Mole was working at the Polythea. He compiles a list of names, keeps it hidden, Get shot the moment he tries to pass it on to the press. I need to find out who those names belong to. Tomorrow. Hey, hey! What are you doing? Do you know what time it is? <sighs> Where have you been? You know what your friends did? What are you talking about? 
Hey, stop searching through my stuff. They arrested Aldo. I know. I saw what you... For murder. Now why would they do that? What? I don't know. But it's not gonna stick. You really need to calm down. To hell with being calm. When I was on my way back from the cabaret, your detective friend was here. Saw him leave your apartment. So don't try to lie. What on earth did you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. We're close. But something didn't sit right with me. You expect me to believe that you didn't trust your old friend from the policia? Look, a lot of things are going on right now. It felt safer to play my cards close to my chest. Just when I thought I'd found someone I could trust in this mess. Hey, I was worried about you. Where have you been? Doing a little digging. Hitting up some friends of mine. Friends of yours? The insurgent type. Not everyone's a terrorist. They're club owners, bartenders, singers. Normal people, Jorge. Anyway, this name popped up. Houseman. Equal parts shady and cruel. Started these raids in 1974. 74, you say? He was close to the commander of the Policia Armada and deeply connected within the Nationalist Party. They repressed all kinds of people they didn't deem Spanish enough. Everyone who didn't fit their Catholic ideals. Wait a minute. You recognized that year, didn't you? Why? What aren't you telling me? I was there. We got transferred to this new unit. The targets were always handed down from above. But that doesn't excuse... I never saw or even heard of Hausmann. In any case, those days should be long gone, and the... You're as blind as you are culpable. Did you already forget what happened right outside your home today? You're just a gang of murderers in uniform. I'm not part of that anymore. I left. Oh, please. You were forced out of service because you couldn't stand at attention. How dare you? Do you have any idea how losing your goddamn legs changes a man? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. I got drunk one night. Every night after the raids, actually. Passing the harbor, I ran into some of the kids we had targeted a few nights before. They recognized me immediately, of course. Thought I could take them. In the struggle, I fell off the quay, onto the rocks. At first, I was angry. Then... I don't know. I couldn't work. People stopped coming by. I couldn't... I need to figure out what's going on. And I don't know if I can do it on my own. I don't know what to say. I think... Maybe we should go our separate ways. Wait! Melinda, please! Don't leave. There's still something I can do. I 
refuse to be useless. No more. I have to get to the bottom of this. Wonder if she brought film. Yes. Sabio's talking to himself. Seems really upset. I bet he misses Aldo. Securing evidence this late at night? Or are you making sure no one else gets to take a look inside? Carmen, going through Lola's stuff. What is she looking for? Even if Mel doesn't want my help, she's getting it. Hey, Melinda. You there? Look, I, I was watching the square and saw some things that could be useful. Okay? Eusebio's still up. He seems really nervous. Been talking to himself just outside the church. So Madame Carmen not only handed Lola over to the Polithea, she's also searching through her apartment. Aldo's still gone. As you said, I'm sorry. Stay clear of the repair shop. The Polythea are still there. Not sure what they're up to. We have to talk. I'm coming up. Okay. There's no hiding that I hate what you and the Policia did. Yeah, I get it. No, you don't. I had a brother. What happened to him? One of those raids. He had talent. Wanted to be a poet. An artist, musician, everything. The world couldn't be colorful enough for him. He loved hanging out with people. One night, he didn't come home. Never did. I'm so sorry. We went to the Policia, of course. They contacted us after a week. Said there had been a car accident or some bullshit. When we finally got to see the body, the bruises told a clear story. Badens. What was his name? Sebastiano Lynx. I know that name. 
How? Oh, don't tell me. Were you there? I honestly... I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I read that name recently. Where? The pamphlet. That's what it is. It's a list of victims. Where did you find this? It was spread all over the plaza today. These must be years when people disappeared. We've got to put this together right now. Houseman was in charge of the flower collectors. My intel together with your witness account confirms it. Look here. This is the same person we saw at the cabaret. It even mentions his name. Houseman. It has to be the same person. He's running for office in the upcoming election. The rhetoric he uses, it makes my skin crawl. It's a list of victims. It's evidence. Of all the people murdered in the raids. Slimy bastard. This guy is trying to get away from his involvement. I'm not gonna let him. No way will he walk. I'm going to help. Yeah. I still don't know how to feel about everything, but I have to see this to the end, no matter what. But for now, we should get some rest. Let's start fresh in the morning. Still sleeping. What should I do for breakfast? She looks exhausted. I'll whip up something to eat and let her rest for a bit. Thanks. Nothing beats a proper breakfast. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Houseman. Yes. It's clear that he must have known about the mole. Now that the list is out, all we have to do is make the connection. Do you think he shot him? I'm not sure it matters. If we can link him to the killings, You'll have a lot to explain. <laughs> Won't look good in the polls. Speaking of, the election is tomorrow. The story has to be finished today, for it to reach the morning papers. Let's not waste any time, then. 
We should start at the cabaret. Houseman's got something going on with the owner. I'll head down. You go check the perimeter. There's still some film left. Is that Carmen? Kid, the cabaret owner is down. In her apartment. What? Is she dead? Can't tell, but it doesn't look good. In any case, this is our chance. I'm going in. Wait a moment. I'll check the door. Mel, stop. The bouncer is there. I just saw him. Crap. You have to distract him. I'll think of something. Who'd have thought this would come in handy again? Come on. Hola, Senor Blanco. Who is this? I am calling about the cabaret. hallway. Ah, uh, never mind, senor. You stay away from her. Seems like they've received threats in the past. Okay, careful when you enter. Use your sleeve to open the door. Check the body, but don't move anything. I can hear noises coming from inside. Phew. What? She's not dead. She's sleeping. Oh, smells like booze in here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. What did you find? Interesting bookkeeping. I'm leaving it as I found it, but I took some Polaroids. Good thinking. Apparently, Carmen received regular payments from Hausman, which is definitely a connection, but there was nothing about the mole. We'll have to look elsewhere. Aldo made it back from detention. Really? That's great. Good to see he's still on his feet. I'll talk to him. Hurry up, before Eusebio gets there and interferes again. did it again, but this time I was faster. What did you get? He saw Houseman, the night of the murder, coming from the cabaret. Finally. So there goes his alibi. We're still lacking a gun. If only we could talk to the singer. 
Somebody at the cabaret has to know something. Sounds like a good lead. I'll keep an eye out. Hope she's also been released from the station. Check if anyone else has shown up in the meantime. Doña Ana is watching the repair shop. Hey, I got an idea. Now that Houseman is our prime suspect, how about you go and show his picture to Doña Ana? Good thinking. Do you need a photo? I'm good. I'll just get a copy of yesterday's news. She recognized the guy from the paper, but never saw him on the night. Damn. She told me a story about those Italian women, though. The mechanics. Said they showed up about a year ago. Yeah, I remember. That's when the noise started. Damn scooters. Focus, Jorge. They came here looking for their dad, who disappeared some years ago. Disappeared? Anna thinks... He was part of that revolutionary's group in the Spanish mountains. They followed his trail here to find him. No luck so far. So, another one. Gone. Think about it. The mole gets killed because he's carrying a list of missing people. The next day, the list shows up on pamphlets in front of their repair shop. They found the original and started printing it. If they can't get their dad back, we can at least try to make sure it doesn't happen again. We should add that to your story. You could try that waiter at the cafe. Hmm. He is close to Lola. Maybe she let something slip. He's in a super bad mood. Well, his girlfriend got arrested. He wanted to leave town with her. Bought tickets for them to get out of here. She refused. Said the cabaret was like a family. He'd just come to terms with her choice. Then the policia showed up. Hmm. I can't stop thinking about the printing press. We should take a closer look at it. I'll take a picture. Okay. Got a shot of the press. Maybe the original list is still in there somewhere. Makes good evidence. I'll take a peek inside. It's no good. The policia locked the place up. Let me think. The kids were talking about something. I'll ask them. See what they know. They told me the mechanics used to let them play around the back. 
So they know a way to get in? Maybe there's a rear entrance. I'll check when it gets dark. Oh, thank God. Good to see you're safe, Lola. You won't believe who's back from custody. Stop playing games. Our evasive singer. She's in the garden. Is she okay? Hard to tell from up here. Why don't you go and ask her? Gave her a black eye. It's bad. Bastards. She's covering it with makeup so she can keep performing. Aside from that, she seems okay. Said she's used to it. Has been running from authorities all her life. I told her about what we're doing. She's keen to help. Did she tell you anything about Hausman? Yes. Hausman is responsible for some changes here. She said it looked like the cabaret was going bust, until he showed up. He must have been pouring money in. Certainly fits the records you found in Carmen's room. I think their deal has something to do with the disappearances. Maybe Carmen is... Houseman just showed up. Quick, find a place to hide. didn't have a clue I was here. Lola made sure he kept talking. She's amazing. Careful. He's still in there. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you later. But the gist is that he threatened her not to talk about the night he was here. So Aldo was right. Totally. Now we just need to find his gun. He won't have it on him. He's too smart for that. Yeah. Hey. Tell me when he leaves, so I can get out. <sighs> Cutting it a bit close there, Mel. to be joking. Mel, he left the cabaret. <laughs> Good. I was getting bored. He's meeting with Eusebio. How far does this guy's reach go? Can't say I'm surprised. The Catholic Church is in it with the worst of them. Anyone who allows them to spread their traditions and influence. Can't believe I trusted that two-faced coward. Wait. Could this be the reason why Eusebio stopped me from talking with Aldo? 
Damn it. All right, that's it. I'm coming up. Let's get everything up on the board. So, we have a shot of Houseman at the cabaret. We've got Aldo and Lola testifying he was there the night of the murder. That's solid, but so what? You were there too. Well, I haven't been paying money to the cabaret. These payments... I'm certain... Carmen was paid to sell out her own people. The cabaret was always a watering hole for those seeking refuge from the government. So, what's his motive? The mole was there when he issued the orders back in 74. The list is proof of the casualties caused by the raids. And now, with the country trying to become a democracy, it would end his political career. Yeah. If we can prove any of the orders came from him. Let's put things on the wall. See what we're missing. So far, we have one witness placing him in the area on the night of the murder. Aldo really came through for us. He's in with the church. How would that be a problem for a politician? Well, it could mean... Ah, forget it. They all are anyway. She probably hates how Houseman is using his money to change the cabaret. Seems a bit too vague for me. for now. I'm going down to the repair shop, see if I can find a way inside. The original list. Wonder if it was longer than that single page. We're running out of options and time. We're just gonna have to give it our all. I'll contact you once I'm inside. You there? I'm in the repair shop. There are people outside. Can you spot them for me? What's she talking about? Diego. 
go. It's the Polythea. Shit. Do you think they saw me sneak in? No. Looks like they're patrolling. Hold on. I think Diego is up to something. Remember to take a photo. Is that... Houseman? What are you two talking about? Mel, listen. I think Houseman is closer to the Polythea than we thought. Just tell me when it's safe to run back. Try to make it across the plaza to the church. You can get inside from there. Go to the tree. No way, they'll see me. Go to the tree. The pillar. Approach the church now. Hey, I've reached the church. Nobody here, it seems. I'll be right up. Glad you're safe, and I'm so Diego, you were uh, certainly pick interesting times to come by. Jorge, let's cut the bullshit. You know why I'm here. Where's your friend? Young woman. Asks around a lot. Carries a bag. Like that one, actually. Where is she? Thought you knew me better than to assume I'd sell her out. You know what happens to people who protect wanted suspects, Jorge. What happened? People are trading order for chaos. That's what's happening. They forget what brought us here. And now they want to throw it all away. I saw you talking to that politician. With Franco gone and the elections on the horizon after over 40 years, we need someone who can deal with change. Houseman doesn't want to change anything. He's part of the same old routine. And look where it took us! People can't be trusted to govern themselves. And the artists? Poets? Why repress all these people? They lead the masses into decadence. We did what had to be done, for the good of Spain. Please, old friend, you're picking the wrong side. Did he send you? Let's just say you've been in our sights for some time now. You should hear him out. Not sure I want to talk to the man who killed a former colleague. I see. Well... I'm the one who shot the traitor. What? You shot a fellow officer and you- He was going to put all that dirt on us! Dirt! 
people were killed! And we are responsible. Some of them were barely adults. Don't lecture me on our work. They were homosexuals, deviants, morally corrupt. People should be free to live life however they want. When the clergy can't pray it away, the baton is there to do the job. This is insanity. It has to end. What was that? I need to get my gun. What do you think you're doing? Come back out. We're not done. I'm running out of time. Call your friend. You really should have changed the frequencies. Shit. Tell her to come over. And no tricks. So what's your plan? Shoot both of us? Don't be ridiculous. We can discuss your case tomorrow night, after the election. As for her, you know what needs to happen. One more body to hide. What's your insurance? <laughs> With Houseman in office, I will climb the ranks in the Polythia, and I... How can you be so foolish? With Houseman in office, your part is finished. All he needs is a fall guy for the murders, and the whole thing gets buried. You don't know anything. We already have an agreement. You have nothing. An empty promise. No proof. Only blood on your hands. That's enough! Shut up! Melinda, you there? Where is she? What happened after my accident? Accident? That's what you're telling yourself now? Of course we went after the punks who attacked you in the harbor. It's about respect. So you killed them, too? Who cares? I, I, we, we roughed them up. We made them pay for what they did to you. Call her again. You're running out of time. Hey, Melinda. Come back. How can you be fine with all this? Murdering innocents! Who do you think you are? Look at yourself. You've gone soft. You're a broken man. I won't take lectures from someone as callous as you. While the church is on our side, I know we're in the right. They trust us to keep the country on a path of tradition and morals. That's how you keep the people united. More excuses. All I see is madmen drunk on power. Don't kid yourself. This is the way it has to be. Now call her. Step back. Never thought I'd see you turn on us like this. Traitorous scum! Stick him up. Melinda, tie him down. You're done, asshole.
How does he look? He's out. Should give us enough breathing room to finish up. I've got an hour to get this to the paper. Let's go. Not sure which one of us changed. Were you always like this? Mark. My words. Democracy. It's never meant to last. One day, the time will come for us to... We'll see about that. Help me get these sorted. Houseman wanted to stay in power, and so he ran for office. In a way, it's that simple. Houseman realized that if the public knew about his past, he would never get elected. So he arranged to cover up his past. Houseman knew that it was too risky to kill the mole himself. So he went looking for someone in the policia who would be willing to play the role of an assassin. is the one who did it. Both him and Houseman are responsible, and they will both pay the price. I think that's it. Okay, I'm off. Do you know someone you can call about this guy? Someone you can trust? I have an old friend who's a doctor. He can take care of Diego until tomorrow. Once you blow the lid on this thing, we'll see who in the Polythea we can trust. Sounds good. See you later. Good luck. Hey, old man. Come on. <laughs> I'm not that old. Mel brought it cleaned and folded when she came over earlier. Glad I got these back up again. Someday, maybe. The commander of the Polythea distanced himself from Houseman and Diego. Claimed the flower collectors had been acting as a rogue operation. Mel's article has been recognized all over the country. It seems like Houseman is gone for good. Much better there. 
Never thought I'd get that much use out of this thing. Hey, old man. Come on. <laughs> I'm not that old. I wonder how everyone is doing. Anything interesting going on? Some old acquaintances are making an appearance. Nothing as exciting as last week, though. <laughs> I sure hope not. Let's have a look. Eusebio was reading the newspaper. Nothing special. The waiter seems a bit fidgety. Yeah. I wonder what's going on with those two. Looks like they're leaving. Now that the cabaret is closing. I'm so relieved it turned out well for them. Carmen's celebrating the closing of the cabaret. Houseman's money has run dry. Selling out her patrons probably wasn't what she had in mind. Must feel good to be done with it. Ah, the mechanics are back. Thank God. I thought they'd end up gone as well. Looks like they read your article. Well, I didn't specifically mention them. There are plenty of other bad people who might be looking for them. They helped. And nobody else needs to know their names. Aldo's still being harassed by the Polythea. Hopefully, it won't be as bad as before. Sabio seems relieved. It bugs me that we will never know the extent of his involvement. At least he's back to helping Aldo. That's something. Let's hope he does a proper job of it in the future. She's still alone. You can call her any time, you know. Yeah. Maybe I will. I think that was all of them. I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess so. Listen, I know we had some rough patches well i'd say we had some decent ones too yeah i guess we did look now that we're done you don't have to hang around <laughs> are you kidding me you saying i bought that easel for nothing wait what didn't think i'd just leave without offering a thank you gift did you I'll come by and check on your progress. <laughs> Better have a nice painting ready for me when Christmas comes around. Well, that's... Uh... Oh. Thank you, Mel. 